level of the uh, set of factories. So we are giving the business on top of giving the farmers, you know, business by really having their market. Uh, we contribute to the country's GDP and the tax base. We contribute to enterprise in Uganda by having many students coming to learn from our enterprise. Recently, I was addressing a number of them and I told them, maybe go to be enterprises like Coca Cola or uh, those new team departments. Where well, there's something much you can learn as a student, you say, wow, what are you think? But when you come to enterprise, like for example, you get to know the beginning of their enterprise, where they are and where they are going. So you go away inspired, thinking that when I go back in line, I can survive. They said, so we put a lot as far as enterprise for students is concerned in my country. I will promote the local production of CEO crops, which are the inputs for the CEO to sing plant. Uh, and this mama here, when she, she really plants her. Means uh, she will be in this job when she knows she needs that, and then the rest will be able to send it to the company that will process it to other groups. Um, we, our position, we encourage the local processing for us to promote the local uh, agriculture. Because if we go to the do that, that we may end up importing everything, then we are going to put half our local agricultural industry. So what we can do locally, we do not like the only thing that both then we do import that much. That's why in, in my country, unlike in Nigeria, unlike in Ghana, in our countries, we can never import in a series of soybeans in their place. No, we cannot. We rather import in primary products uh, rather than importing in this uh, the bread because the bread you can grow them at home and then do whatever you can do at home. Um, creating employment and business for Uganda farms, uh, processing plants and public here, farm, we give them work, and then here at the factory, we give them employment and valuation. Then also, how we do that, we take them and turn into small businesses for the market, uh, and we can get to learn better work. Um, Finding nutrition is one of the things we are doing in our country. Like you see that they do not want to produce the Indians like that, and sometimes that's due to what we need the man or the baby himself. So our position in the country, we are fighting to change that image and make sure we get a better image for the elderly sleep and then we want to turn to uh, something like that. That's very much better than the other image. So our position is to change the image from the other one to something better like that. Um, like I said, Uganda is one of the countries that are growing soybeans on top of Nigeria, South uh, uh, Africa, and all the Zimbabwe. Uh, but 50% of our soybeans is exported. And then 40% uh, is turned into animal feeds. 10% uh, is for human consumption. Now, the export of 50% for us will be in bad. It's not good. Our president was the other time addressing us and telling us that every time you export raw beans or raw soybeans, you are not only exporting the raw beans, you are also exporting jobs. Because your fathers, your mothers, your aunties, whatever you are part in the factory that has bought that soybean, you are, you are a donor of not only soybeans but also of jobs. So that's why we encourage local production. So we want to make sure that this, this, this person here goes out by increasing the local uh, production so that the exports really go down. We need to add money to all our products. Um, the company currently produces a wide range of assorted products for a lot of the soya cup. <coughs> soya cup is a product which appears like coffee. It has the aroma like coffee, uh, but it doesn't have caffeine like coffee. It's very good for people that try to avoid caffeine from their bodies. Uh, it is a if you have to come to our store, the wish is you ever see the product there. That's what we are producing at home and have a good value of it. We do so that we have a combination of soy, maize, and milk. When I talk about soy, it is full fat soy, not uh, in a fact of full fat soy. So we combine the three and make the porridge. Uh, we do another product called brown butter. Brown butter is a combination of sesame. Uh, from our uh, and soy. 
to make access for bread. For bread straight and so we use it for sauce. Then we also do the diamonds and also do the mammoths. These are snacks that are put as soy days for 5,000. I went around this recently which I went to this day and I discovered that you can use soy in the middle of, of, of the product. So we tried eating the diamonds. These are made for me. I put the best of 5%. My dad came out very well. And also the mammoths that uh, I do kind of also 5% of them. So some of you may want to taste some of these. They are at my desk and even I sample of them to you. Just eat them right away. We also do a soy production. It was uh, one time when we exposed me to um, a soy processing idea that I love the idea they took it back home. We started on that, on that idea in a small scale and right now the idea is now going. This is how we are also new for the local market. The only challenge we have right now this milk cannot last for long. For only one day it goes back. Or oh, you have to keep it cooked uh, every half to 10 hours. Or oh, you keep it under refrigeration. Um, then also do yogurt. Still I want to do yogurt after exposure in Africa sponsored by Wish. Where I found uh, one guy who was doing yogurt and from Swedish. I took the idea to put in more versions and uh, today we have consumed our soy yogurt on the market. Mainly for those that are trying to avoid, you know, lactose or human use on the consumption of fat and cholesterol to their bodies. That is the kind of market now and how the market is quite big. Maybe 3% of all the sugar that are in the market that has got no condition and we are there for. Uh, 
solar utilization to the country. At the same time, the house is a component where we take our farmers and we will take our industrial guys, rain makers, and new pecker guys, and new processors to take them to the and be exposed to different new universities and their ideas of using soil into their pecker products and also their new products. It's not a program that's been going on in Ghana and she has really done us very well. This was the time that we have signed the book from our book, Sanctuary in Asa, which this is where the farmers were came to Ghana and visited us. Because not only are we interested to learn how to, 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 to use soil, but also how to farm soil. So we wish, uh, the reason why we think that we wish is really so good to us is there are no more issues that we should buy their soil product, but also we move our farm practices so that the local production can also be posted. It's a win-win situation where we can buy some product, we can say, and also improve our local processing at all. Uh, what is that? That's the one simple here is that I have to understand. We also have something like this and GDI in Uganda. Where well, I hope we just came around and also presented because we had to present a lot of Uganda. We had food like we have the hard food, so when we go to the US, we don't stop into their laboratories and their industries, but also go down to the farm and get to know where soil comes from. We learn a lot from those people. There are some people say that when you see someone on the top of the mountain, you don't ask how did he fall there. They don't fall on the top of the mountain. You ask how did he climb up there. So when we go up there, to our friends, our brothers, they tell us this is this has been the road, this has been the trail. So like recently, probably today, I'm taking a Atlanta to my you know, small grand farmers in Uganda so that. They can really get that is from the law using their parts, you know, to plant their 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 their, their seeds, their beans. They will just spray a plant and they can plant, you know, and this is simplified uh, the, 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 the process before we can get where they are. So this is what we will stop in their laboratories and their you know uh uh monitoring to plant, but we simply go down to the farm and get to that uh we can take back home for vegetables. So that's how we the teams we used to get to USA. We do what we call a street kitchen program where we do a crusade like a gospel crusade. We play music to the people, we start up, back from and tell them, come and listen to us. We have an idea also, so we display different products of all. And also, before that, we even invite some of the public members to come and join us in the cooking. So we put together and then we give the product together. By the time they give uh, that crusade, they really go back and appreciate it. So that's why today we are out of the important sample of the so so we can go to the cafe that is really good. Uh, one of them is the street kitchen, and then the other one is uh, the store uh, where we start. We keep one and one ever since we joined the partnership with some of you guys in this day. Uh, for good performance and they, they don't know where it comes from but it's because of the new partnerships that we have established with our partners like you. Uh, this is the proposed factory for Susabo. Uh, you can imagine where the energy has come from. Uh, from the other first image I showed you to where we are right now. That's why I told you I'm going to show you our past, present and also the future. So that's what I ask for you guys. Thank you so much.